Hello everyone and welcome to today's gentle flow practice. We're going to start in a nice comfortable cross-legged seated position. So making your way down onto your mat, getting nice and comfortable, making sure that you have enough space around you. You'll only need your mat um, today, no props at all, and just the space of your mat to work with. So hopefully you have a nice quiet area where you can practice and finding yourself in this comfortable seat in the center of your mat. And just taking a few moments to start to lengthen through the spine from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head and then soften down through the shoulders, just allowing the shoulders to melt down away from the ears. Let's just take a few breaths here, just allowing ourselves to settle into the practice. Just noticing that natural rhythm of your breath without trying to manipulate the breath in any way at this point, but just noticing if the breath is fast or slow, Noticing if it is deep or shallow. And then perhaps setting an intention for your practice today, if you would like. So we're going to be working on some poses for aiding digestion. Um, we're also going to open up through the hips a little today. So if an intention comes to mind, anything that you want to experience to work on in this practice today, feel free to just set that intention now before we begin to move into our practice. When you've set this intention, Maybe just repeating it in your mind a few times or if you're in a nice, private, quiet space, maybe repeating it out loud. And then just starting to direct the breath right down into the base of the belly. So deep breaths in through the nose, bringing the breath all the way down to the base of the belly, letting the belly expand, the chest expand as you breathe in. And then slowly breathing out, nice and evenly, long, slow, even breaths out. Let's just take five deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Three more, all the way down into the belly with the breath. Very good, after that fifth exhale, just starting to lengthen through that spine again and taking the palms down onto the knees. Now we're going to start to come into a nice little hip opener. So draw your left foot a little further forward, so almost uncrossing the legs. That ankle is going to come underneath the right knee. With our right foot, we draw it up and place the ankle on top of the left knee. So we basically have the ankle on top of the knee and then the knee on top of the ankle. If you are on the wrong side, don't worry, we're gonna do the other side. But just noticing what you can feel in this right hip and not forcing this right knee further down towards the mat, just noticing how it feels here. You might be up here with the knees lifted up a little further if you're tight through the hips that's completely fine don't worry just aim to start softening through the hips and just relax as you ease into this pose so fingertips can come onto the mat 
and we just lengthen through the spine. Let's just stay here for three deep breaths in, three deep breaths out. One more deep breath in, deep breath out, softening. Very good. Then we start to lengthen that left leg out. Before we come onto the other side, let's just take a seated twist. So left leg lengthens out right in front and that right sole of the foot comes onto the outside of the left knee or in towards the outside of the left thigh. From here, we take the left fingertips behind us and take the right elbow onto the outside or sorry, the inside of that right knee. Take a deep breath in here, opening and lifting through the chest and the spine. Then as you exhale, let's twist to the left. Very good. Just allowing the spine to lengthen with each inhalation and allowing yourself to soften deeper into the twist with each exhalation. Being mindful that you don't have to move the neck or turn the chin to face that left shoulder if it doesn't feel comfortable. If you have any neck injuries or issues at all, just keep the chin in line with the sternum or the center of the chest, that's absolutely fine. We're twisting through the spine, not through the neck. Let's just take one more deep breath in here. Then exhaling to release, coming back to center. Good. Now let's swap those legs over. So the right ankle comes underneath and the left ankle is going to stack on top of the right knee, finding that square pose again here. And remember, it's okay if the knees are lifted up high, you can take the fingertips onto the mat. And just notice the stacking of the knees and the ankles and notice how it feels in that left hip now. Lengthen through the spine. Soften the shoulders down and just breathe here. Three deep breaths in, three deep breaths out. Noticing this stretch through that left hip. After those three breaths, just start to lengthen through that right leg now. We're going to come onto that, uh, into that twist on the other side. So right leg starts to lengthen out. Take it all the way out in front, press forward through the heel and take that left uh, sole of the foot onto the outside of the right thigh. We're going to twist to the right this time. Take the right fingertips behind the spine and then the left elbow onto the inside of that left knee. Take a deep breath in to lengthen here. Then as you exhale, pull the chest around, opening, leading with that right shoulder. Again, don't feel like you have to twist through the neck, just allowing that chin to stay in line with the center of the chest if you have any neck issues at all. Or if it's comfortable, you can start to turn the chin towards that right shoulder. Just allowing yourself to lengthen through the spine each breath in and soften, maybe twist a little further with each breath out, only if it feels good. Let's just take one more deep breath in. Deep breath out to release, coming back to center with the chest. Perfect. Let's just take both feet out in front. We're going to bend through the knees and come into a little tabletop position. So hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. From here, we start to move through a little bit of asana or cat cow pose. So as you breathe in, belly drops down towards the mat. The chest can pull forward through the upper arms, lifting the chin and lifting the sit bones up towards the ceiling. 
as you exhale, press through the palms and the fingertips and round the upper back up towards the ceiling, tucking the tailbone under and bringing the chin towards the chest. Deep breath in to open through the chest, rolling the shoulders back and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Belly button pulls up towards the ceiling. Very good. Keep going. Maybe moving at the pace of your own breath now. Inhale, we broaden through the collarbones. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift the chin. Exhale, we fill a nice space through the shoulder blades and we round through the chest and the shoulders. Let's just take three more breaths. Moving the spine, warming up through the spine here. One more, deep breath in. Deep breath out, rounding. Good. Just start to come back to that neutral spine. Let's take the knees as wide or even wider than the mat. Big toes can come together and start to sink the hips down and back towards the heels. Finding an extended child's pose and just lowering the chest all the way down to the mat. You can take the forehead down onto the mat too. Allowing yourself to soften and sink a little deeper into the pose with each exhalation. And just remember, this is our resting pose for this class. So if you need a break at any time during the class at all, if something doesn't feel good in your body, just please feel free to make your way into this pose or another pose that feels really comfy for you. So as we're here, while we're here, let's take a deep breath in, lengthen through those fingertips all the way to the top of the mat. Then as you exhale, let's walk the hands over to the right side of the mat. Finding a little side stretch. Soften the chest and the forehead down again here. Pressing the hips down and back with each exhalation. Just allow that breath to move right down into the belly. Belly expanding between the thighs as you breathe in. Softening through the hips, softening through the chest and the head as you breathe out. Good, one more deep breath in. As you exhale, let's walk those hands all the way back through center and over to the left side of the mat. So all the way off the mat onto the left side. And again, softening the chest down, the forehead down and sinking the hips down and back. Keeping the chest facing down towards the floor. Noticing what you can feel in the hips as you sink them down and back. And again, noticing that breath moving all the way down into the belly. Let's just take one more deep breath in. As we breathe out, hands come all the way back to center. Good. From here, just start to gaze forward between the fingertips here. Let's move back into our tabletop pose. So bringing the knees back in under the hips, hands back in under the shoulders. And then tuck the toes under and let's press the hips up high to find our downward facing dog. Reach the hips up and back, press the chest back towards the legs and you can start to pedal out through the feet, just bending one knee at a time. As you bend that knee, softening the opposite heel towards the mat. Good. Pressing all through all 10 fingertips, making sure you're not dumping into the wrists. So really gripping the mat with the fingertips. Perfect. Let's just take five breaths here, pedaling out through the feet. Feeling free to take a little break in child's pose if you need to. And not worrying too much if the heel doesn't come all the way down to the mat. Just aiming at softening the heels down here one at a time. 
Good. Let's just take one more deep breath in, maybe lifting both heels, maybe bending both knees. Then as you exhale, sinking both heels down towards the mat, finding stillness in our downward facing dog. Press the chest back towards the legs and allow the ears to come in line with the biceps, really allowing the head and the neck to relax. From here, let's take a deep breath in and lift your right leg high, finding a three-legged down dog. Keeping the hips squared towards the mat instead of lifting and opening through that right hip. As you exhale, pull the right knee in towards the chest and step the foot between the palms, finding a low lunge. Come up onto the fingertips here, making sure that that right ankle is directly under the right knee. So you've got a nice 90 degree angle there. And planting the left hand down, let's lift up with the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling, finding a twist. Very good. Staying nice and balanced here. Noticing what you can feel through the spine, feel through the belly, feel through the hips. And maybe if it feels good for the neck, you can start to gaze up towards that right hand. One more deep breath in. Let's lift the fingertips a little higher, engage both legs. Then as you exhale, allow that right hand to come down. The hands are framing the front foot. As we exhale, just stepping that left foot forward to meet the right, finding a forward fold at the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Just allow the chest to fold down over the legs. And if it feels better here, you can bend deeply through the knees, letting the belly and the chest sink down onto the thighs and just taking each elbow onto opposite hand and swaying from side to side. Let the head and neck relax completely as you just move softly, gently and slowly from side to side here. Feeling again the belly expanding onto the thighs as you breathe in. Softening all the way through the neck, the shoulders, the head as you breathe out. Good. Let's take one more deep breath in. As you breathe out, let the hands come down towards the mat. Start to straighten through the legs, just finding a regular Uttanasana forward fold. Let's come into a halfway lift when we're ready. Hands come onto the thighs or maybe the shins, lifting the spine to come parallel with the mat. As we exhale, find that forward fold again. Start to bend through the knees and circle sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky, coming all the way up to standing. Bring the palms together overhead, then exhale and fold all the way back down. Take a deep breath in, find that halfway lift again. Hands onto the shins or maybe the thighs. Exhale, let's fold. Plant the hands down, maybe bending through the knees if you need to. Then step one foot back at a time, finding a plank pose. Good. Lowering the hips down a little to make a nice straight line from the crown of the head to the heels. Then lower the knees down and start to bend the elbows straight back, lowering the torso all the way down to the mat. Good. When we get all the way down, untuck the toes and start to lift through the shoulders and through the head, just finding a baby cobra. Not pressing through the hands, but instead just rolling the shoulders back, squeezing through the shoulder blades and lifting. As you exhale, let's lower the forehead and the shoulders back down. Taking those palms under the shoulders, start to tuck the toes under. Let's move through our tabletop pose, knees come under the hips. And then reach the hips high, finding downward facing dog. Just pedaling out through the feet again here for a few breaths, or if you need to, coming into that extended child's pose, just taking a break for a few breaths. If you're in this downward facing dog, just pedaling out through the feet, notice if the heels start to soften and get a little closer towards the mat as we warm up and start to loosen out through the muscles. Good. 
pressing the chest back, relaxing the head and neck, tilting the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Let's just take one more deep breath in, bending through the knees and lifting the heels. And a deep breath out, softening the heels all the way down. Let's come on to that other side now. So as you breathe in, let's lift that left leg high, finding a three-legged down dog on the other side. Hips stay nice and squared towards the mat. As we exhale, let's pull that left knee in towards the chest and step the foot between the palms. Finding that nice low lunge again, coming up onto the fingertips. And again, making sure that that left ankle, the front ankle, is directly below the front knee. Start to plant the right hand down and open the chest towards the left leg. Finding a twist here and lift the left fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. If it feels comfortable for the neck, you can start to gaze up towards those left fingertips. Taking deep breaths in and really lengthening and switching on through the legs. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Let's lower that left hand down. Both hands frame the front foot. Let's move the weight into the left foot and step the right foot forward beside the left, finding our forward fold again. Lower the chest down. Again, if you'd like to find ragdoll by bending the knees and taking each elbow in opposite hands, feel free. Or maybe this time you keep the legs nice and straight. And maybe you interlace the fingers behind the back and start to reach the fists overhead up towards the ceiling and then all the way out in front of the mat. We're just taking three deep breaths in, three deep breaths out as you soften here. One more deep breath in. As you breathe out, just release the hands, straighten through the legs if you are bending through the knees and find that forward fold. Let's take a deep breath in. Find halfway lift fingertips to shins or thighs. Exhale, let's fold. All the way up as we breathe in, bend through the knees, circle sweep the arms all the way overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, folding all the way back down, Uttanasana. Deep breath in to find halfway lift, making that nice straight line with the spine. Then exhale, folding back down. Bend the knees to plant the hands down. Then step one foot back at a time, finding your high plank. Again, lower the hips down a little, switching on through the core and rounding through the upper back. Then lower the knees down. Let's exhale and bend the elbows straight back, lower the chest down. Good. Untuck the toes. Then deep breath in. Lift through the shoulders, through the head, gazing forward. Squeeze through the shoulder blades. Then exhale, lower back down. Pressing through the palms. Let's tuck the toes under and make our way all the way back to our downward facing dog. Or if you need to, taking a little break in your child's pose. Let's just take three deep breaths in and out here in our downward facing dog, or if you're resting in child's pose, just allow three breaths before meeting us here in downward facing dog. Just directing that breath into the belly, pressing through the fingertips and tilting the sit bones up towards the ceiling to lengthen even more through the backs of the legs. Just one more deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. Let's take a deep breath in. Lift that right leg high again. Find that three-legged down dog. Hips stay squared to the mat. As you exhale, pull the right knee onto the outside of the right elbow. Step the foot on the outside of the right hand, coming into a wide low lunge. So my hands are under my shoulders and my right foot is on the outside of my right hand. 
we're just finding a nice wide lunge here for a moment called lizard pose so you can sink the hips down you can come down onto the palms if that feels good or stay up on the fingertips just take a few breaths here feeling that opening through the hip noticing the breath moving into the belly softening wherever you're feeling this the most intensely very good just one more deep breath in. Maybe starting to move back up onto the fingertips now. And one more deep breath out. As we breathe in, let's gaze forward to the top of the mat and move the weight into the right foot. As we exhale, we're stepping that left foot onto the outside of the left hand, finding a malasana squat. Lower the hips all the way down towards the mat if you can. And then bring the palms together at the heart space. The elbows press on to, into the insides of the knees. Now, if the heels are lifted here, that's absolutely fine. See if you can avoid lifting through the hips too high. See if you can pull the sit bones down towards the mat, lengthen through the spine all the way up towards the ceiling. We want the heart space to be open here. Shoulders melt down away from the ears. Press the elbows into the in, insides of the knees. And feel that opening through the hips, the knees track over the toes. Just taking three deep breaths in and out here, feeling again that belly expand as we breathe in and soften back in towards the spine as we breathe out. One more deep breath in, lengthen through the spine, open through the heart space. As you breathe out, soften those hands back down towards the mat and start to lengthen through the legs. Straightening through the legs and lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, then heel toe the feet in together to touch. Finding your forward fold, lower the chest down towards the legs. Good. Let's take a deep breath in. Find that halfway lift. Fingertips to shins or the thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up as you breathe in. Bend through the knees. Hands circle sweep all the way overhead. Exhale, let's fold all the way down. Palms coming through center. Deep breath in to come into that halfway lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades and roll the shoulders back. Exhale, let's fold and plant the hands down, bending through the knees. Stepping one foot back at a time, finding that plank pose. Good. Again, lower the knees down. Bend the elbows straight back and lower the chest down. Take your time here. Untuck the toes, then lift as you breathe in. Shoulders pull back. Exhale, fold. Palms press into the mat. Tuck the toes under. Let's find that downward facing dog. Pressing the hips high and the chest back towards the legs. Just noticing how you feel in the hips. And if you feel any difference between the right side and the left side, at this point in your practice, after coming through that second sequence, just on that right side. Take a moment to reset, to sink the heels down towards the mat, press the chest back towards the legs and relax through the head and the neck. Then let's take a deep breath in, lift your left leg high, find three-legged down dog, still pressing the chest back towards the legs, as you exhale, your left knee comes all the way onto the outside of your elbow. Then step the foot on the outside of your left hand. Finding that wide lunge again here, or lizard pose. We're keeping the back toes tucked under and the knee lifted. So try and engage through that right leg. Again, you can come up onto the fingertips here if you need to lift a little more through the chest or come down onto the palms to get a little deeper into that left hip. 
stay for three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out here. Noticing where you can feel this the most intensely. And just seeing if you can imagine directing your breath into that space and just releasing a little more tension each time you breathe out. Just one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Good. Let's come back onto the fingertips if you were down on the palms. Take a deep breath in to move the weight forward into the left foot. Then as you exhale, right foot steps forward onto the outside of that right hand. Again, toes are turned out a little. Start to bend the knees, tracking over the toes. Sink the hips all the way down. Sit bones uh, directing straight down towards the mat. Elbows come onto the insides of the knees and press into the insides of the knees. Palms come together at the heart space. Lift and lengthen through the spine. See how you feel through the hips, through the lower back, maybe even through the knees and through the ankles here. Let yourself breathe nice and deeply nice and slowly and nice and evenly. Now you can stay here just in this uh, nice straight spine with the palms together at the heart space. Or if you would like to, let's come into a little twist over to the left. The right hand comes down onto the mat, the tricep pressing into the inside of the right knee. Then lift the left hand overhead and out over to the left twisting towards your left knee. Take a deep breath in, gazing up towards the left fingertips. And then exhale, lower that left hand down, fingertips coming onto the mat and pressing that left tricep into that left knee. This time we lift through the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling and twist the chest towards the right knee. Gazing up towards the right fingertips this time if that feels good for the neck. Deep breath in. Exhale to release down. Bring those palms back together at the heart space, pressing the elbows together into the insides of the knees. Good. One deep breath in to lengthen through the spine. Then exhale to lower the hands down and start to lift through the hips, lengthen through the legs, and then heel toe the feet in together to touch, finding your forward fold, Uttanasana, at the top of the mat. Well done. Let's find that halfway lift as we breathe in. Fingertips to shins or the thighs. Nice straight line with the spine. Exhale, let's fold. All the way up as we breathe in. Bend through the knees. Hands sweep wide and all the way over the head. Exhale to fold all the way back down. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands plant down. Step one foot back at a time. Find your plank pose. Again, lowering the knees down softly, untucking the toes and bending the elbows straight back to lower the torso down. Find baby cobra as you breathe in, lifting through the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, let's soften all the way back down. Press the palms into the mat, tuck the toes under. Let's find our downward facing dog, reaching the hips high. Let's just take a deep breath in here, reaching the sit bones up towards the ceiling, sinking the heels down towards the mat, pressing the chest back, pressing through all 10 fingertips and relaxing through the head and the neck. Good. One more deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's allow the knees to come down. Open them wide, about as wide or even wider than the mat. Big toes come together. Sink the hips down and back, finding our extended child's pose. Just staying here for as long as you like, softening the chest down.
and taking some deep breaths into the belly, allowing those hips to reach down and back with each exhalation, fingertips to reach forward with each inhalation. Then when you're ready, start to look between the palms and start to walk the hands back in towards the hips, taking as long as you need to. We're sitting back onto the heels, then bring the knees together, move the hips over to one side and swing the legs out in front. We're going to come down to lie on our backs now. So shuffling forward on your mat and lying down onto your back. Just keeping the soles of the feet down on the mat for a moment and dropping the knees from side to side. Just letting yourself loosen out through the lower back, getting a little massage on the lower back on the mat. Hands can be on the belly as you notice that breath moving into the base of the belly with each inhalation. Very good. Just a few more times of slowly dropping those knees down, feeling a little twist through the spine. Perfect. Then draw the knees back to center and start to hug them into the chest. You can just stay here, hugging the knees into the chest and rocking from side to side. Or if you like, start to draw the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling and pull the knees down towards the armpits. We start to reach the arms through the insides of the knees and then take a hold of the soles of the feet from the outsides of the ankles. Start to pull the knees down a little further towards the mat on each side of the torso, keeping the chest open and the shoulders heavy finding happy baby pose. If you're here and it feels good, you can rock from side to side, just slowly and gently. And just remember, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, it's totally fine to be just here with the knees hugging into the chest and rocking from side to side. So whatever option you're taking today, just take a few breaths as you rock from side to side and enjoy. This nice, comfy pose, relaxing, open through the chest, heavy through the shoulders. And getting that little massage from the mat on our spine. Very good. Just take one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Draw those knees back into the chest if you were in happy baby pose. Just take a moment to maybe pull the forehead all the way up towards the knees and squeeze the knees in a little closer. And scrunch up the toes, scrunch up the fingers, round the shoulders in, squeeze all of the muscles in your face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then exhale, release everything down, coming down and taking the soles of the feet onto the mat for a moment then opening the knees out wide, bringing the soles of the feet together. You can take the palms onto the belly or you can take the hands down by the sides, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Whatever feels good for you here. And just allow your body to be completely heavy now as we enter into this relaxation part of the class. Let everything soften. Let the breath deepen and slow down even more. And for the next few minutes, perhaps focusing on the rhythm of the breath as it moves in through the nostrils, down into the lungs, and then all the way back out of the lungs and out of the nostrils. 
or perhaps you allow the mind to wander and just take this time to let go of all of the effort and control whatever you need in your practice today just allowing yourself to use this time for whatever it is that you need Start to deepen your breath. Drawing the breath right down to the base of the tummy. And letting each exhalation be long and slow and even. The body still soft and relaxed. And when you feel ready, just starting to wriggle through the fingers and through the toes, keeping the eyes closed down and just starting to notice how the body feels. Noticing any subtle changes since the beginning of the class. And when you feel ready, start to lengthen the legs out long and reach the arms overhead, lengthening out the entire body. Take a moment to rock the hips and shoulders from side to side, maybe allowing yourself to yawn if it feels good. And slowly pull the knees in towards the chest and take yourself over onto one side. Just laying on your side for as long as you need to before coming So taking your time, there's no rush at all. Coming back into that position, just in. Just closing down the eyes for a few moments, bringing the palms together at the heart space. Coming back to that intention that you set at the beginning of the class, if you set one, and just noticing if you were able to experience what you were wanting to experience in the body or in the mind. And noticing again any changes in the body, any changes in the mind since the beginning of the practice. And just take a moment to bow the head in gratitude and send some gratitude towards yourself for bringing yourself to this practice today. For spending this time in filling your own cup so that you can help others. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.